Welcome back, y'all. Guess who it is? Coach Kareem. This is how we do cooking videos. That's what we're doing shredded Jamaican jerk chicken. It's a nice little uh, meal prep. Something healthy, something different. But it'll be fun. So let's get started. So, what you want to start with is some uh, clean, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Just some good old chicken thighs. Nothing crazy. You can find these at any local supermarket. I prefer thighs just because of uh, they're a little juicier than breasts. Next, you want to add in your chopped onions, red onions, some garlic. I prefer the pre minced kind because who has time to chop that stuff? Not me. So, this isn't typical. But next, you add in this McCormick grill mix type stuff. It's pretty good. I'll put a link in the description. But it, it was it was fire, so I had to add it. Next up, got some ground black pepper. Add that liberally to taste. I like mine spicy. But it's all on you, you know. You are the Edgar Allan Poe of your jerk chicken, bro. You laughed. Don't even lie. You know that was funny. Next, you want to add in even more pepper. I added in some red pepper flakes. But like I said, I like mine spicy. You know, it's good. Extra hot. Maybe the Jamaican. One. That's a traditional way to make it. Just kind of spicy. And then thyme is also a traditional seasoning that we use. Uh, dry thyme or fresh, but either or. If you're trying to keep it cheap, all you can find is dry. That works just as good. This is a jerk barbecue sauce that I found. I will also link that because it was also equally fire. And I highly advise you to probably put it on. Typically use ketchup, but that sauce is amazing. And then you want to mix it. So yeah, just don't get shy. I mean, you can use gloves if you want to, but in traditional sense, we just kind of get in there. And I personally like to feel it. I like to feel if it's seasoned enough. So that's kind of how I go about it. Make sure you wash your hands, obviously. So you just keep on seasoning it up, get it all mixed in through. And that's what it looks like when it's done. Thoroughly mixed up, seasonings all, all in the chicken and delicious if you want to make it really good you can put this in the fridge overnight but if you just strap for time just you can go ahead and cook it next step you want to go ahead and get a nice baking sheet out cover it in foil put some Pam on that John and just uh, get it nice and, 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 and lubricated good to go because you're gonna start laying your chicken out now this was easily like maybe two weeks worth of chicken so I um. I had kind of just kept all the pieces together. I didn't really have time to space them out or to space to space them out, honestly. But typically, you want to space them out, but they shrink down when you cook them anyway, so do you. If you got a big tray, use your big tray. But yeah, you just kind of want to lay them out, get them all evened and all the seasoning on there. Boom. So this is it when it's done. Make sure you get all that extra seasoning out the bowl and spread it over the chicken because, I mean, that's, that's the flavor in it, so don't waste it, you know? and just spread it all nice and even and when you're good to go and uh your trays are ready to go you pretty much want to bake this at about 400 degrees for about 45 minutes or until it's done um but don't over bake it because it'll go dry and this is the finished product chicken's all juicy you can see how the oil kind of cooked off too if you look real close so that's what i mean you don't really need to space it out too much but a little up close shot what's it camera gets there we go nice and clear you can see how it kind of roasted the, the garlic and the onions and all the seasonings are popping and it, it turns out really good if you bake it for you know the right amount of time and it cooks all the oil off too so it's healthy next you want to lay out your chicken breast thighs excuse me it's way juicier than chicken breast that's why i prefer them so i did about three which will equate to uh for your macros i want to say about three to four ounces like three and a half ounces i'll get the exact macros for you in the description but three thighs is good that's like a solid portion when you see me lay it out in the end you'll see how much of a, much of a hefty portion it is there goes that camera again there it is nice and clear we tasted it it's really good like it turns out really good that barbecue sauce that's not some typical jamaican seasoning but it was fire so if you can find it I highly recommend it um, it is really really good but it kind of it is what we would use we, the variant that we would use is ketchup but if you could find that I mean that's basically like super Jamaican ketchup essentially so yeah I'm definitely putting that in the link for y'all it's totally worth it and then you get the trays all laid out 
Um, find what, what kind of side you want. Got a little sweet potato and some squash here, but yeah, so you just kind of liberally serve the chicken up. That's the three thighs that I just chopped up that you see me laying in there. And as you can see, like, it's a decent portion, you know? If you are trying to track your macros and make sure you get enough protein, like, this is a tasty way to make sure you're getting your protein. That's that's not a small portion. So, yeah, it's a nice little close-up shot for you. The sides, some sweet potato fries that I baked also, squash that you also baked. Turned out really good. And this is the full... I can't say a week, because honestly, I eat three, three of these in a day. So, this is the layout. About a cup of rice in some of them. We got sweet potatoes in some of them. And it's a nice little mix, you know? It's a close-up shot of how good that chicken looks. It turned out really juicy, really good. Nice seasoning. Not too spicy, but spicy enough for me. It was great. So, this is about two days' worth for me. And there you have it. The finalized version. The total meal prep in there delicious shredded Jamaican jerk chicken. If you like what you saw, content like this, subscribe below for more content like this. I'm going to try to do more cooking videos, but as always, guys, enjoy, eat clean, and meal prep, because honestly, you can eat clean, good, and cheap. Thanks for watching. Check out this video here for more content. Check out this other video right here for even more great content. But hey, what do I know? out here trying to make it. Thanks for watching guys.